Hi, Christina here with ET Books. Good to see you again. Today, I will be talking to you about a book that I've already returned to the library, so I can't even show you. It's called The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. So, this book was intriguing in the turn of phrase that the author Sarah Perry used. And for that reason, it kept me going because it created imagery with words and phrases that were ingenuous. And so it kept me, kept me reading. That was the main thing that kept me reading. And the other part, of course, was the title, which is what it's about, The Essex Serpent, and wondering, is there a reason it's titled this? And is there really one? And is this, this novel based on fiction that could really happen in my world or fiction where I need to suspend my disbelief a little bit? So I didn't know if it was a little bit sci-fi, a little bit fantasy or what. So I wanted to find out and I kept reading. Um, near the end, it was hard to finish. I'll just be blunt. It was hard to finish. It seemed to go on forever. Um, it's a pretty thick book. I don't know how many pages. Um, it's not It's not even about the thickness of the book. It's just that after a certain point, I was done, but I don't like to quit. And what if I miss something by quitting early? And also I had invested all this time in it already. So of course I had to finish. Was it worth finishing? It was worth getting close to the end, but I don't know that the last, I don't know, couple chapters or however long the, it, it felt like it was wrapping it up at the end, but kind of poorly. Um, it almost felt like it would have been better to just like, here's the end and cut it off. Now, I usually don't like that. I want to know. I want to know the loose ends and wrap them up. And I don't really, I didn't really feel satisfied with how it was. So I think if I would have stopped when I got bored with it, three quarters of the way through or more, I would have been possibly more satisfied. But that's my opinion. Again, it's The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. And you'll know this book because it has gorgeous golds and greens on the cover, on the black cover. So let me know if you've read it, and if so, what you think. I'm going to drop my link for Goodreads um, in the comments. So if you want to go there and, and read mine and others' reviews about it, you can. And if you've read it, let me know in the comments what you thought. And even if it's how wrong you think that my opinion is, my review of it is. So that's the Essex Serpent. Until next week, au revoir. Have a wonderful week. And cheers from me to you. Bye.